morning, welcome to TL Physics, and today I'm going to talk about energy stored by a capacitor. So in my previous video, I talked about the capacitance formula, and it came from this graph here about the how much potential I stick across my capacitor and how much charge I stored. Now this, the gradient, the ratio between Q divided by V, the amount of charge I have per potential, is this capacitance. And I worked out some capacitance here, that if I had one nanocoulomb of capacitor, uh, charge, and it took me four kilovolts to do that, my capacitance was 2.5 times 10 to the minus 13 farads. Now with most things, the, the two most important parts of a graph are the gradient and the area underneath. And today I want to focus about the area underneath this graph. So the area <coughs> underneath this graph here, okay, is a triangle. And that's going to be a half QV. And if I actually have a look at potential, potential is energy over charge. So energy is potential times charge. So what it's telling me here is that this here is the energy in a capacitor. Okay? So this area under the graph is a capacitor. And the reason it's a half QV, okay, so this is energy, potential times charge. However, the reason it's a half QV here is because the potential is changing, it's the, and therefore the charge changes. So it's a ratio of the fact that two things are changing at once, okay? So the area under this graph equals the energy stored. Which is going to be energy equals a half QV. But I'm going to replace it with this as well. So energy is a half Q C V times V. So it's a half C V squared as well. So I had my question from before that I had a one nanocoulomb um, charge and a four kilovolt um, actual one half uh, four kilovolt um, potential. Let's work out the energy that this capacitor is storing. So we've worked out its capacitance, which is two point five times ten to the minus thirteen. Let's work out how much energy I'm storing. So the energy is a half Q V. So a half times one times ten to the minus nine times of 4 times 10 to the 3, and that is going to be 2 times 10 to the minus 6 joules. Okay, so this graph of potential versus charge stored, so this is the potential of the electric field I had to put over it, and the amount of charge I stored, okay, and this here is, the gradient of this is the capacitance of the object itself, the capacitor itself, because it's the rate of, or the, not the rate, the ratio between how much charge I get for how much potential, and the area underneath this graph is going to be the energy that I store, okay? So that there is the energy formula for capacitors.